coming to this very exciting big launch. I hope you're as excited as we are for the big things coming here in 2021 and beyond. E-Learning Brothers has been around for over 10 years with the mission of creating e-learning rock stars. It all began with me and my brother building and selling templates in our basements. Later, we added a full in-house course development team and then pre-built off-the-shelf courses. Last year, the world accelerated their shift to e-learning as a result of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. We've been working to help organizations more easily transition to a remote workforce. Being an all-in-one solution has played a big part in allowing us to answer your business training needs. I'm excited to announce two big things today. The first, some of you may already know this, and that is that last year, we acquired the company's Trivantis and Knowledge Link. Trivantis was the company responsible for developing Lectora, the most powerful e-learning authoring tool on the market, as well as the amazing virtual reality course builder, Scenario VR. Knowledge Link was a video-based learning platform with deep roots in the association and specialized training publisher world. We spent the past year integrating these companies, the people, the systems, the products, and we wanted to bring together the ability to create course content and the technology to deliver and track that content under one roof. E-Learning Brothers is no longer just a company that builds e-learning templates. We are now a full solution business and positioned to partner with you and tackle all of your digital learning needs. We can help you create content, use our powerful authoring tools and build your own courses, or work with our course development team. Choose from libraries of pre-built courses and then take all of that content and put it on our learning platform and deliver an amazing experience for your learners. This leads me to our second big announcement, the launch of our Rockstar Learning Platform. Built on the foundation of KnowledgeLink's video-based learning communities, our Rockstar Learning Platform includes both LMS and LXP features, all of which are native parts of the platform itself. Today, you'll get a chance to see a few key features during our live demo. Features that will help you address critical learning needs with virtual onboarding, compliance, self-directed learning, upskilling, reskilling, cross-training, and learning communities with user-generated content. Now, enough of hearing from me. Let's dive into each of these announcements in more detail, breaking down the impact these can have on your business. To get us started, we're going to pass the mic to John Blackman, founder and former CEO of Trivantis and eLearning Brothers Chief Technology Officer. John has been a pioneer in the e-learning industry for more than two decades. Take it away, John. Thank you. Wow, I feel like I need some confetti cannons showering on my head like that. But even if I don't, I'm still ready to rock. Since joining the e-learning brothers team in April, so many amazing things have happened. First of all, Lectora and Scenario VR are growing and becoming more user-friendly and accessible every day. We've made many updates to Lectora, including the V19 update, and many preparations for the flash end of life. For Scenario VR, we've rolled out several major updates, including the addition of 3D objects, motion paths, and drag, drop, and spin interactivity. These will continue to change and evolve so that e-learning developers everywhere can have tools available to them that help to make e-learning awesome. More capabilities are coming to Scenario VR to help you build even more immersive and exciting learning than ever before. And very soon, Lectora 21 will be launched with a new look along with new features. E-Learning Brothers has set the stage for some truly next level awesomeness. Back to you, Andrew. Thanks, John. We love Lectora and Scenario VR. It's been an exciting journey to have them here at E-Learning Brothers. Our goal through these acquisitions is to grow the value we can deliver to you. Whatever your business training needs are, we have solutions for them. As I've interacted with L&D and HR professionals this past year, many people are still unaware that we have a learning platform. We do. We've had one since April. But one of our big focuses this past year has been to amp it up. That's why we're so excited to finally launch this new learning platform today, the Rockstar Learning Platform. It's amazing. I'll pass the time over to Christian Weeble, 
to share with you what sets our platform apart. Christian. Whether you're looking for an LMS, an LXP, a digital learning platform to deliver online interactive learning experiences, or just a quick and easy way to provide video-based training on desktop and mobile devices, the Rockstar Learning Platform provides a very solid foundation for you to get started today and to grow and innovate tomorrow. The Rockstar Learning Platform is all about providing solutions, solving real-world problems, and helping you take advantage of key opportunities that will really move the needle when it comes to optimizing human performance inside of your organization. Let me give you a few examples. One of the more common cases we're seeing this year is a need to implement some type of virtual onboarding program. Hiring new employees in our mostly work from home environment presents unique challenges for the onboarding process, which may include pre-hire skills assessment or certification, new hire orientation to policies and process, an initial and ongoing compliance and regulatory training, diversity training, safety training, and skills training. All of this can be easily done with the Rockstar Learning Platform. But effective onboarding also includes sharing your company culture and values with new employees. If this is your focus, you should consider including some type of immersive content, like a welcome video or a virtual office tour. The kind you can build with Scenario VR, our easy-to-use authoring tool for creating learning experiences in augmented and virtual reality. A second example is the need for upskilling and reskilling employees, or providing opportunities for self-directed learning and professional development. The Rockstar Learning Platform provides an off-the-shelf course library which includes more than 2,500 microcourses, including both hard and soft skills. Another very common example is a forced transition from classroom-based training to virtual face-to-face -face or online digital learning. In cases like these, classroom trainers are now becoming online learning facilitators and are converting classroom learning materials to online materials and figuring out new ways to engage learners and assess competency. A few key features in the Rockstar Learning Platform that can help you here include the ability to upload PDF files, PowerPoint decks, and Word documents, images, and video to your Rockstar Learning Platform library, and then to sequence those reusable pieces of content into one or more differentiated learning pathways and courses. An event calendar for integrating virtual instructor-led training using Zoom or other popular virtual meeting technologies with completion codes to track attendance and participation, and learner activities to facilitate higher levels of engagement and retention with task lists for on-the-job training guidance and learner evidence uploads to document real-world learning and experience. A final example that might resonate with your organization is how to solve the problem of the training bottleneck and overloaded instructional designer. While we live in a world where the rate of creation of new knowledge is quickly accelerating with more and more knowledge being created faster and faster every day, it's also a world where internal teams of instructional designers and trainers are often shrinking or at least not growing at a sufficient rate to keep up with demand. We've included two important features in the Rockstar Learning Platform that can help you here. The first is channels. Channels enable you to turn on learning streams in your organization to facilitate a constant flow of knowledge provided in almost real time to the people who need it in order to competently perform their jobs and enhance their skill set. We've also included the ability for you to turn on a contribute button that enables channel members in one click to create and share text and multimedia learning content with others in the channel. With these two game-changing features, instead of being a bottleneck in the process for getting knowledge from subject matter experts to learners, having to interview, capture, review, synthesize, organize, format, style, and reconstitute knowledge using sophisticated authoring and multimedia production tools, instructional designers in your organization can become orchestrators of the flow of knowledge, facilitating knowledge streams within your learning communities at a scale and pace previously unattainable a constant flow of knowledge provided in almost real time from the people who have it to the people who need it. You'll have a chance in our live demos coming up to see all of these cool features in action, including our integration for rehearsal video coaching with automatic speech recognition and natural language processing to automatically advance learners through a video coaching learning scenario. Now when it comes to building a business case to buy a learning platform, you need more than just a good business argument. With the Rockstar Learning Platform, we're also rolling out the opportunity for you to conduct a guided proof of concept to demonstrate key use cases that will help you create a vision and provide evidence that you and your team will be able to accomplish what you're hoping to achieve. This program includes a full packet of resources with a Business Case One page and POC Planner. Stick around and we're gonna show all of this to you in a detailed demo coming right up. Back to you, Andrew. As you can see, we are ready to rock with all of these new acquisitions and product updates. 
If you've been a member of the eLearning Brothers family for a while, we hope you're pumped about all these big steps. If you haven't tried out our solutions yet, now is the perfect time to start. We have everything you need to be an e-learning rock star. Now, let's take a look at this rock star learning platform. All right, all right. This is John Toda. I am your rock star learning evangelist here at eLearning Brothers. And thank you to Andrew and Christian for that awesome introduction. So I have the honor here of showing you the Rockstar Learning Platform live for the very first time. So we're really excited about this. Obviously, this is something we've all been working very hard on since the acquisition early last year. As Andrew and Christian said in their opening comments, we really set out to take all the things that you know you need to have in your learning management system and pair it with all of those learning experience capabilities that your learners want and need today. So we don't really look at Rockstar Learning as being just an LMS or an LXP. We think of it as an evolution on the learning model and something new and innovative for everyone to get their hands on. So I am really excited. I'm the first one to get to really give you this live tour of Rockstar Learning. And we prepared a great demo here. So we're gonna take you through some of those features that Christian outlined in, the, in his opening comments. I'm going to take you through some of the standard stuff that, that we've had for a little while, some of the brand new things that nobody has even really seen yet, and then introduce some of our premium partners who are going to offer some new capabilities that I don't think many people have seen before in a learning platform like this. So without further ado, let's jump right in here. And as a, just to give you some, uh, some housekeeping here, you can put some uh, questions in the question and answer. You can chat in there. Uh, Christian is online here answering any questions as they come up, and Andrew Townsend will uh, interrupt me if necessary to answer any questions. Uh, but feel free to ask your questions as I go, and we'll have some time for, uh, for Q&A at the end as well. So Rockstar Learning, just to give everyone a quick overview, um, and I'll click here for this overlay, so you can see this kind of gives you a helpful overview of our dashboard. We try to make it very user-friendly and easy. It's also a white label platform. So while you see Rockstar Learning and eLearning Brothers all over my uh, community here, in your own Rockstar Learning site, you get to privately brand it, the URL, your logo, color scheme, banner, copyright, it is all designed to look like it's yours, a natural extension of where, uh, wherever it's coming from, your internet or your, your learning hub. So as you can see here, I'm sitting on the featured items. There's obviously lots of ways to get the content. You can search up here, you can hit the navigation panel over there, but we like to bring as much for each individual learner right up to their featured items here. These are specific to my role in the organization, my group, whatever, um, whatever my position is in the company. Uh, one of the goals for Rockstar Learning is to make the learning path much more personalized and individualized for each learner so that they have that invested engagement in their own learning path and how it moves them along on their career goals. So, we're gonna go through some of these new tabs here. Uh, saved items and boards have been here for a little while. Events and channels are new. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Rockstar Learning Assessment Module, which is our brand new solution for identifying skill set gaps and, uh, and assigning uh, recommended courses of content specifically to help your uh, individuals get to the next level that they're looking for. So let's jump in here, first of all, You've got saved items. These are any items that I've saved for me individually. Um, as Andrew had said in his opening, we began this platform back in two th 2004. Uh, Knowledge Link, the original name, was one of the very first video learning platforms out there. So our video capabilities and technology are industry leading. We do a ton of cool overlays and capabilities here. If you're interested in video training, Rockstar Learning now is probably the best option you could have in, at your fingertips. So one of the things here, when I when I go to any one of these items, I can click on adding to a board. I'm gonna show you a little bit about boards. That's our way of socializing content and learning paths at any level of the organization. So here I can say that I, I like this piece of media, it was valuable to me. I wanna curate it and clip it to a board called sales ideas. Um, now, if I jump back to the main screen here, I can go to boards, and as you see, I've got a leadership team board, and that's relevant content curated within a specific stream of ideas. Uh, sales ideas, I just grabbed that pitching the generations piece of media and added it here, my weekly study group. So these are all each 
individual boards, their curated content. But what's important here is that I'm not an admin. I'm just a regular user. I see content that's valuable in here. And we want to get that to other users. This is really our peer-to-peer -peer socialization of content. Um, so it's one of the things you hear about in learning experience that end learners really want to be able to capture content that was helpful to them and be able to share it with others without being an admin. And all of us who are admins, why not let that collaboration happen, that peer-to-peer -peer learning happen, and it makes our, our job a little bit easier. So certainly you can see the tile view, shows you the contents of each one of those boards that I have. Back in list view here, I can simply hit the edit. Uh, I can take any one of the items out of a board very easily. Um, I can change the title of a board, come out of that mode, and then one of the really cool features here is I can share it very simply. I've got it shared here with Christian. Um, if I want to share it with someone else in my organization, um, I can just type in their name and share it right there. And that's how easy it is to be able to share content across the organization without being an admin, but just curating content to a board and being able to share it with other users. So that's boards. Now moving over to events. Uh, back shortly after we brought the companies together, uh, I think it was at the end of April, one of the things we set out to do was to redevelop the instructor-led the instructor -led training model. And what we'd seen at the early stages of, of the pandemic that we were all living through, and certainly we were going through a merger of three companies that were all very far apart, we had to do a lot through virtual meetings. And we depend, as all of us do, on Zoom and WebEx and GoToMeeting and Microsoft Teams and all those different tools that are really strong in helping us get together in this new virtual world that we're all living in. But the one thing that they don't do is centralize all those different tools to one calendar, um, give you some ability to put that within the context of a larger learner curriculum, and then give your end users the ability to get credit for attending a live event. So while Zoom is something that we use every day, and for a lot of the talks, we don't need to put it inside of a larger learner context where it's part of a curriculum. And in a lot of cases, we don't need it to, to register credit for an end user. But today, a lot of those instructor-led training sessions that happen live in a workshop or a conference room in your main office, now they're happening, vir happening virtually. And Zoom and WebEx and, and all of those great tools weren't really designed to do that. And that's what we, we really designed this to solve for. So if I look over here, I'm in the uh, calendar view. I can see all the events that are coming up or that I've uh, that I've got on my calendar. This is a virtual office hours, which I can RSVP for. Um, instantly, once I RSVP for it, it gives me the link so that I can get to this Microsoft Teams meeting from here. Um, I can enter the completion code so that I can get credit for it. So if I attend the office hours, the best practice for this is that whoever the instructor or trainer is who's running this session, they can at the end of a session say, here's the confirmation code. In this case, it's uh, ELB 2020. And when I enter it, I get it accepts the code and I get credit for attending. That's super important in this new world that we're living in. When the learning really matters, when it counts, what we like to say, that's when you want to put it in here. Put it inside of a curriculum. So if you see here, I've got a sales school orientation. I've got a couple of on-demand sessions and then I've got a weekly office hours. So we're blending live events with on-demand sessions and you can make this a prerequisite. So I have to attend the live orientation and then it opens up the next sessions in this curriculum. So when the context matters, we want it in here. When getting credit for attending this live event matter, we want it in here. So it's all the things you expected from your old instructor-led training modules, but even better because now it manages all of your virtual meetings. So you can get to the link from here. Um, but one of the things that I also wanted to show you, because everyone always asks about this, we have a tile view. I can click over to one of my other meetings um, that I also already RSVP for, and I can put in my completion code here. But everyone always asks, well, what about, do I get an email notification? Can I add this to my regular calendar that's in Google or Outlook or what have you? The moment that you RSVP for a meeting, it sends you this email. I just took a, a PDF of it and added it here so you could see it, but you automatically get an RSVP email into your inbox, your registered email inside of Rockstar Learning, and you've got these nice easy buttons down here to add it to Outlook, Google, Apple Calendar, uh, what have you. So the idea is you can access these meetings from anywhere. You can use whatever tool, 
we're really agnostic as far as how you uh, how you attend the virtual meeting and what calendar you use, but we want you to be able to come back here at any point and get credit for attending that meeting. And that's super important. So uh, we're very excited about it. As you can see here, it comes in the calendar mode. You can look at your weekly calendar, your monthly calendar. You can look at your tile, tile view, show all your past events that have occurred. Some are happening live. Uh, when we do get back to doing these meetings in person, you can handle those in here as well and all those virtual ones. And one of the important things to look at here um, is that you could show your history. And as you see, since I just RSVP'd for that event, sales school orientation shows up on my regular learning transcript along with the other, um, the other sessions that I'm completing, whether they are SCORM or XAPI or video sessions. They're all side by side here in my transcript. So I have one place to go, whether it was a live event hosted through Zoom or Microsoft Teams or something that I actually consumed right through Rockstar Learning. We've got that all here. It shows that I completed it because I RSVP'd and now I've got credit on my transcript. So very important for us when learning, where regardless of how it's occurring, whether it's virtual, live in a classroom, or it's on demand. We want it centralized to a single calendar, a single transcript, give you the ability to build a larger curriculum, blending live events and on demand um, content together. And we're really excited about that because it's brought a, a lot of things together for us and we're seeing all the value that people are getting out of it. So those are that's the virtual event manager or our virtual ILT module, uh, boards where you can start socializing and sharing content, any user in the platform, saved of course is my own and my own content that i saved for myself and then we've got channels here christian mentioned this uh earlier and so now we're going to jump over into the channels and so in channels here what is really exciting is that we we started looking at the marketplace and what people really wanted um what they were asking for in these learning experience platforms um and one of the big things was we wanted users at any level of the organization, not just admins, not just the instructional designers who ended up really being the, the central hub of all content creation. And then the onus is on them to create everything. But everybody at a, at a large corporation um, or any size organization, they have subject matter experts all over the place. Now they're operating virtually from anywhere. Um, they could be at any level of an organization and they might not be the actual admin who could upload content but we wanted to solve for this with channels and as christian mentioned earlier uh what channels does is create these these different streams of content that are more collaborative that allow for contributions from uh, anyone at the field level this is secured to a specific group so only the people that you invite to this channel would be able to contribute here but one of the amazing things is any user at any level who has access to this channel can contribute and add to this stream of learning. Then you as the instructional designer or the admin who runs the Rockstar Learning site, you can grab the content that you see the most value in that might add some value to a larger learner curriculum and be able to drag and drop it in there. So it's a way to source great content for your subject matter experts wherever they might be in your company, make it very easy for them to contribute content uh, and then you be able to leverage that com content into a larger course. So I'm going to take a quick look here and show this to you. So basically, um, if I click on here, this is a, uh, a session that I created earlier. So uh, just as a regular user here, uh, it's created by me. Um, when I click on this, you see this page of content. I'm going to show you how easy these are to create in a moment. So it creates a page of learning content here, which is a combination of text, images that I've uploaded, and a video um, that I put in here. Now I'm going to show you something here on the video that is probably one of the most exciting features that we've got uh, in this uh, contributor piece of our, our new application. Now as I click that, I'm going to mute that, and then I'm going to go to the settings here, and I'm going to change my captions to Spanish, and you could see that on the screen. Now you're not gonna be able to hear this, but I can also set the language to Spanish. And now he's gonna speak the same, same script, but he's gonna be delivering it in multiple different languages. And that's done immediately. It automatically transcribes your video when you upload it. 
uh, as a contribution. Uh, it takes a few moments, about you know, 15 to 30 minutes for it to transcribe and translate, but then you have this option. Any learner who accesses this content can now see the subtitles in different languages, um, and they can actually get the, uh, the voiceover delivered in those different languages. We're really excited about this. I, I have to give a ton of credit to Christian Weevil, who's been leading the product design and all of this, uh, and our engineering teams who have come together. You know, we have this opportunity with probably one of the best engineering teams in the authoring side of the industry, coming from the Trivantis side of the house, merging with our platform developers and content developers to really bring capabilities like this, which are a huge time saver for people who are training across the globe. And, and you've got users from everywhere and you need to support multiple languages. We're really excited about this. This happens automatically when you upload, um, when you upload the content. Uh, you can choose whatever language you want. Any user can when they listen to it uh, and play it back. And we're going to be adding more languages here. This is something to talk to your customer success representative or sales consultant at eLearning Brothers to talk about how we can use this, what languages that you need to support in your model. But this is one of those amazing pieces. People spend a lot of time and money uh, translating content for their global audience. We wanted to make that easier using these uh, contributor pages. So I'm going to jump out of this and just show you real quickly a couple of the uh, nice aspects of this. When I come here now, I have the ability to edit that page. So now that's a page that I created. So I have this little edit icon. And as you see, I can go right in here, change the text immediately. I can delete text, add to it. Um, I can go and upload a new image, drop a video in here, just like I did there. Um, and I'll show you how easy it is just to add an image. And now I've got a image dropped in here and I can shrink it down. So it's that easy to create content very quickly, get it right into the page like that, manipulate it um, without me being a developer or being technical in any way. What we want to do is make this very easy for the subject matter experts, the people who are in the business side of your organization who, who are sitting on tons of knowledge that Normally, you'd have to run that through an instructional designer. You'd have to create content. And we're trying to really make it easy for anybody at any level to contribute content. Um, and you'll see here also, I could just go and click on a video. I'm going to access my camera. And just like that, I can capture a video, hit record, and insert a video. So you can capture it from your device. Um, you can capture it directly from... Um, from your camera and then you publish it just like this and it's gonna update that content. So really cool, if anybody wants to contribute now, I could just simply click here, contribute, it starts a brand new page, just like that. Put a description in, add an image, add a video, either from your device or your camera just that simple and you're creating content. What's very cool here too is you can pick different themes to style the page differently, backgrounds, font styles. We don't want you to have to think too much about stylizing the page. We just want subject matter experts to easily get in here, choose a template, add images, text, media, and start creating learning at every level that we can all take advantage of. So something we're very excited about Contributors and channels, it's brand new, a, really a different way to capture content from so many thought leaders and experts in your world. So definitely talk to, if you're a Rockstar Learning user already, talk to customer success. If you're not, get in touch with an LMS sales consultant and they can show you some more demonstrations on how you use this. But this is just live as of a week ago, so we're excited. We think this is one of those technologies that's really going to change the way people learn. Hey, John, we've got a couple questions about what you've covered so far. Um, the language changes, is that available only for the channels section? Yes, yes. So that's that's unique to the channel section. And when you contribute content, any content that is uploaded there, that video player is the one place that automatically does the, the transcription and translation for you. Okay. 
Uh, and then the other question here, is there any plan to try and have it auto sync with a calendar like a Google calendar or something like that in the future? Yeah, we could certainly look at that. One of the things that we're uh, we're always talking about is integration. Um, integration, obviously, for single sign-on on the way in, but then also for sending data and content out. Um, so yeah, that's something definitely to talk to customer success or one of the LMS uh, consultants about. Uh, but yeah, integration points are, are very important to us. Excellent. And then, well, there's one more question here, and you may choose to take this at a different time. I know you have a lot more to show us, but if I decide to switch today to the Rockstar Learning Platform, would you guys help me migrate my existing courses from my my current, where they're currently hosted? Yeah, so I, I love that question, actually, because one of our true strengths as, as a company here at eLearning Brothers is that migration from one platform to us. Um, we know there's a lot that goes into it. You've got to migrate users. You've got to migrate content. You might need to redesign the way your curriculum or your curricula was built. Uh, but yes, we have the team. We have a full service implementation team that loves to do exactly that. Business analysts that will work with you on figuring out how you map that content over from your existing learning management system to Rockstar Learning and take advantage of all the new capabilities that we have available here. So. Uh, yeah, 100%, uh, 100%. That's one of the things that we take pride in is our customer success team is one of the best in the industry, and they they love to make this process very easy for you. Fantastic. Thank you. All right, cool. So we're going to jump into a couple other very interesting features. So, so far, we've got across the, the navigation here. You, we've talked about socializing content with boards, um, centralizing all your virtual events with the virtual with the events tab here and then contributors and channels to help you get content from anywhere in your organization. Well, now we're gonna go into what we, uh, we're very excited about taking learn, learning to another level. So one of the things that we always felt a little challenged about was that a lot of, a lot of learning is designed around you log in, uh, you view content, you get a completion. And because you completed the content, um, in this case of a, a video, um, it's automatically assumed that that completion means that you are proficient in that learning. And we know um, that that's not, just not the case. Cases you need, really need to be able to go in on the job, you need to put these skills into practice to prove that they're actually a proficiency, a capability that you can use in the workplace. That's something that the, the moment we brought all the companies together, um, Christian really spearheaded this, this idea of getting our learner activity panel built so that a video, watching a video, watching a learning module isn't the, the sole purpose. The real purpose is to learn that content and then prove that you've got the proficiency on the job, that you can actually put that in place through one of these activities. Um, and we had the benefit of uh, years ago, uh, eLearning Brothers had acquired a, a fabulous technology called Trek. Um, we learned from that and we integrated the best pieces of Trek into Rockstar Learning. Um, and that's what this learner activity panel is. So on any piece of media that you have inside of Rockstar Learning, you can activate learner activities. And if you do, that changes the requirement in order to get credit for this. So I love this piece of the presentation because you can see so many different things that go on around a piece of media in Rockstar Learning. As I said before, uh, we started this as a video training platform years and years ago. And we looked at that as, as we evolved into Rockstar Learning and said, okay, how can we take all the great things we've done in video, pair it with this really innovative new perspective on how people actually learn and become proficient in skill sets and then bring it all together in what you're seeing here on screen. So this is our uh, welcome to uh, uh, virtual onboarding um, video. And so one of the things that we do, and, and this has been in the platform for a little while, um, because of our expertise in video, we're able to do this. We've got our own video player um, in here, and we've integrated a comment feed. So I'm going to play the video for a moment here, and you'll see how this works. But this is very cool. Um, basically, as this video plays, me as the content owner, the subject matter expert, or the facilitator, when I watch this content, I can type in my comments, and they're time-coded into the video. So when anybody watches this video, um, whether they're watching it at 11 o'clock at night on a Saturday or 7 a.m. on a Tuesday, they get these com comments popping up um, automatically timed to the video. So what this allows you to do is to facilitate a piece of content 
um, in this way. You can also show all of them and then use it as a bookmarking feature and jump around to the parts of the video that are most valuable. Or you can facilitate the content and say, okay, at this moment, I want you to pause the video and open up our activity panel and actually go and put this into practice. So you see, I've got a quick little learner activity here. Um, you build these uh, with a simple authoring tool built into the admin side of Rockstar Learning. I can add a welcome message description, ask them to rate um, some, something. You've got all different types of engagement uh, it, uh, engagement activities here, and I'll, I'm just showing you a few samples. Um, what is your preferred meeting tool? I could click any one of these. This will instantly grade on the fly here and tell them if it's right or wrong if you want it to. And then I can check off and complete items in the real world. So I've already completed these, but this is one of those things that, okay, just because I watched this video on how to do a welcome video doesn't mean that I've got that proficiency. Now, now it says, okay, go out, go up back on the job, go in the real world and check off that you're doing all of these things. The completion down here is based on completing all of the activities, not just watching the video. So I'm going to show that in the next one, um, one that I haven't completed yet. But a couple of the other things, um, you can do open answers. So if they just want to add some feedback, um, type in any anything here, short answer, enter that, and their manager, coach, mentor can see it. And then you can enter a URL. Um, so evidence is really important with this. How do you get credit for it? Well, you have to show some evidence that you did this in the real world. So I can click here. I like to show this. My evidence here is just a URL, the website. I wanted to show this because our marketing team has done an amazing job launching the brand new eLearning Brothers website. I love this new Rockstar Learning platform page. So I, I couldn't go through a full demo without giving a plug for it. So thanks to the product marketing team and and uh, all the amazing efforts that everybody has done to get this new website out there. But that could be any type of evidence. It could be a blog post, it could be an article, it could be a video um, that's hosted outside of your platform, but it's evidence in one form or another. Um, and then you can upload. Here, I've just got an image uploaded, um, but I can cancel that out and then say, no, you know, what I want you to upload is the welcome video. Um, and it's gonna upload the welcome video right here as evidence. So. I, if my my task here is, hey, go learn how to do create your own virtual onboarding video, go and do the welcome video. Well, I don't get credit until I complete it, show the evidence. In this case, I had to upload an, an MP4 file that proved that I actually created a welcome video and then my manager or my mentor can review that content. So that could be something they create with their webcam. It could be an audio file. The idea here is to make it really easy to show that you've got proficiency in a particular learning um, learning path. Uh, so I will show you now another, and of course you've got attachments here. This comes in a larger learning, learning path here, um, but I'm gonna jump over to this because I love looking at it from this perspective. All of us use um, checklists like this and forms. We allow you to put a PDF in as a module, a learning module itself inside of Rockstar Learning. And this is, this is really cool. It's great, I can view it. In the past, I would have downloaded this or printed it and completed it on my own and maybe uh, PDF'd it and sent it to my manager. Well, what we wanted to do was somehow take this virtual onboarding checklist or any assessment checklist form that you put in here, and then using the learner activity tab on the right side, I can actually make it an interactive activity. So what you see here too is that it's really hard to do this kind of stuff in the media. And then if you change the media, now you've got to go back and change all your interactions. So what we want to be able to do is make it easy. You can put the media up there, whether it's a video file or a PDF, and then you do the, the interaction, the engagement at the learner level is done in this panel on the right-hand side. So that gives you this almost this infinite um, flexibility to be able to change your activities, add to it. Now, one of the things really cool here is to look. I PDF, how do I get credit for completing a PDF as a module? You really don't. In this case, I'm at 25%. Well, I'm at 25% because there's four activity groups here that I have to complete, and I've only done the My Company. So now if I click down and say, okay, I've done the weekly progress checkpoints, one-on-one -on -one coaching, department rotation, and all of these items, instantly you'll see I changed to 50%. So as I complete these, and I'll go down and do the My Teams. So if I'm going out, coming back, these will save automatically 
updates my progress to 75%, and then I complete this particular module when I complete all the activities. So you're, you could see all the flexibility you have here. This is an example I'd love to show because um, our team did an amazing job, obviously, creating this virtual onboarding program. But just this idea that you can take a simple PDF checklist and turn it into a, a graded learner activity that proves that I really went on the job and did these things. Um, so I'm going to take a quick uh, shift here because we're in the virtual onboarding uh, curriculum. Um, so I'm going to jump over here to our virtual onboarding template. I have to show this because as excited as I am about the new uh, eLearning Brothers website and the Rockstar Learning platform pages that our amazing marketing team has created, we also have this exceptional custom content team here at eLearning Brothers, instructional designers, um, content developers, uh, creators of all different shapes and sizes, and they just create the greatest e-learning content out there. And um, and a couple of the ones that I work with specifically, uh, Chris Willis and Josh Bleggy have helped me um, with this. And this is something that we're offering to all of our new Rockstar Learning customers who onboard. We looked at this and we said, you know, we went through this uh, transition and we have to now start onboarding and hiring people completely virtually. And a lot of companies just weren't prepared for that. They hadn't had to do it before. And so we had the, the real fortune of having an in-house team that could create this template of the way that we thought you should bring people in um, truly virtually into your organization and make sure that they're developing across all these critical learning paths. So we've got this broken up into four milestones. And this also shows you uh, some of the capabilities in uh, Rockstar Learning, how you can structure your, your learning paths. But now as I expand it, in milestone one, I've got um, activities and learning paths for my company, my career, my team, myself. We, we put a, a beautiful ebook together um, with that virtual onboarding checklist. Uh, that's available to everybody. Just ask uh, anybody you're working with at eLearning Brothers. You can get access to this, the white paper, uh, ebook, checklist, and this template that you could use to create your own virtual onboarding program. So if you see, we love these four pillars, my company, my career, my team, myself. Those are the paths that you want a new person to, de to develop in your organization. Um, and But people don't know, what are all the things that we're gonna ask them to do? What do I need? I need a virtual office tour. I need a handbook review. That's gonna be a live event. Then I need to send them out to benefits enrollment, which happens at a third party site. So this is a URL. And then I have an interactive workplace harassment session another URL, a live event. So what we did is templated this so that you can leverage what we've already designed and then plug in what works for you. So definitely whoever you're dealing with in customer success or sales, they can they can help you with this, show you a demo of it. Uh, one of the things I love, um, as you heard in John Blackman's introduction, Scenario VR, uh, one of the coolest tools out there. Um, we've got the virtual office tour here. Um, and this is something that we just feel it's so cool to merge this with all the other uh, learning that you've got. Um, now I could go right here. Uh, I'm inside the, the office, our headquarters in Utah, inside of Andrew Sibley's office. So a virtual employee may not actually ever get to walk into your headquarters right now, or it may not happen for another six months or a year. But now you can drag around and be in the CEO's office. You can click on his wall and see the different, the different people in the executive team. Um, or I can click here and watch an introduction video from Andrew himself. So giving this, this extra added attention to making people feel like they came into the organization, even though it was virtually, they came in, they learned the culture, they feel like they're part of the team, they feel like they're in here. This would be too expensive to do in traditional formats, but when you have a tool like Scenario VR, like we have now, that makes it so easy to create this and to give people tours of the headquarters, give them introductions to different department areas, meet people, feel like you're walking in the hallways of a new company, even though you might be a thousand miles away from the headquarters. So really cool. I, when I see it, I just love to bring it up because I'm so amazed about uh, what they're doing with Scenario VR over there and, and what it means to virtual onboarding. So again, this Rockstar Virtual Onboarding Program, we have this fully fleshed out. Um, it's 
tons of, of really valuable content and it's all templated for you to leverage and use any way you want. Um, so definitely check it out. So learner activities turn just skill set training into a true engaging interactive approach so that you know people are really developing proficiencies that they can use in the workplace. Do it with videos, do it with checklists, um, leverage a virtual onboarding program like this. And if you can use a tool like Scenario VR to make people feel like they're walking through the hallways of your, your headquarters if you can. And that is a little bit on learner activities, Rockstar uh, virtual onboarding. And now we're gonna show you uh, the assessment module. There's yeah, another like question. This looks spectacular. You're showing in the desktop version. Um, and I know we don't have a Rockstar Learning Platform app um, yet, but what does this look like on mobile? Uh, yeah, so this is a, a mobile responsive um, application. So one of the decisions we made early on is that a lot of our customers are accessing through single sign-on um, large enterprises that are coming from their intranet um, to the Rockstar Learning Platform. Um, because of that, we haven't made that move to, to launching an app. What we really wanted to focus on was to make this as mobily responsive as possible. Um, I'm going to switch out of full screen mode here for a second. Um, hopefully this will work for you. I think it looks good. Um, and then you'll see, as I shrink my screen size here, you can see it's automatically resizing for um, the mobile screen sizes. So very much something that, that we've put a lot of attention to. We know that a lot of the learning that people are um, consuming through Rockstar Learning is coming through email notifications um, that, are, that, that are happening automatically through our system. You're enrolled in content, you get an email notification. You might open that on your iPad or your mobile device, um, tablet, what have you. So depending on the screen size, um, it's automatically resizing and uh, reordering everything on screen, um, as you can see, to fit whatever device you have. So very mobily responsive. Uh, we might develop an app for specific reasons in the future, but right now um, our focus has been to make this just a really seamless mobile responsive experience. Awesome. And then one other question before we move forward a little further. Um, when you had the, the list of activities and you were showing, you know, 25% completed, 50% completed, um, can I have an activity link to the specific task or is it only checklists? So like uh, in the virtual office tour, can I, can the link be, click on that and go to it, experience it when you come back, you know, yeah, that I way I don't have to search around for it. Yeah, I think what you're asking is can you put a clickable URL in as your um, task list item. I, I yes. think that's what you mean, so that you could click on it, go and do it, and then come back and check off. Um, yeah, you could put, um, you, uh, yeah, I believe so. Actually, I haven't tried, <laughs> but it's a great idea. Um, I believe you could put any uh, URL in there and I'll hyperlink it. Uh, if not, it's a great suggestion, and uh, we've got all the right people on this call to hear that and uh, make sure it happens, but yeah, that. That would be the idea. You could definitely do it in the description up top to tell them to go somewhere and do it and then check off. Uh, and, and I'd have to check and see if I haven't tried it yet in the actual test list. You might be able to put links in there as well. Um, but if not, def definitely something we are actively developing these features. Um, they're brand new. We've just rolled them out. So suggestions like that. I, I think we support URLs in the, in the learner activity right now. If not, that's something we could add pretty easily. Excellent. No other questions at this time. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. And uh, we're going to jump into the Rockstar Learning Assessment module now. So as I click in here, uh, what's really nice about this is we set out, um, even before the acquisition, one of the things that we had, had identified was that a lot of our um, a lot of our learners out there, or a lot of our uh, communities had grown so much that people would log in, a new employee would log in, and there'd be thousands of videos and interactive sessions and uh, PDF slideshows all over the place. And people really didn't even know what their path was. And so uh, a couple of years ago, we got very focused on this idea of career mapping and skill set development and really looking at it and saying, okay, well, how do we get people into the very um, most personalized version of the learning path for them that could guide them along this? And so we had built this, it was originally called Knowledge Pilot. Uh, and now we've rolled it into Rockstar Learning, um, integrated it in as the assessment module. Uh, everybody has access to it. One of the things, 
people have seen assessment modules. Um, they've obviously have been around. There's lots of people creating them. A couple of things that we do here differently. Um, every one of these assessments is tied to a recommended course of content inside of your Rockstar Learning site. So now an individual takes a pre-assessment. You could start with a completely blank Rockstar Learning site on day one of your job. Uh, first thing we want to do is assess your knowledge state. What do you come into to the job with? Everybody's different. Just because um, Andrew and I started at the job in the same role on the same day doesn't mean that we came to that role with the exact same knowledge state or that we learn in the same way. So our idea here with the assessment module is, well, let's take an assessment first. You have the ability to ask demographic questions. Uh, you can turn each one of these a full authoring tool built into, into the platform. So you can use this, you can turn these on or off if you want to ask demographic questions. I love it for collecting data. Um, over time, this is super valuable to see how people in your organization are um, or across it, you know, across organizations are completing these skills assessments where they're strongest and where they need the most work. Um, but you could turn that on or off. Um, and then you can also ask a self-assessment. We really like these as a benchmark for each individual, but it's not required. You can turn this on as well. Now, this is a simple sales assessment. I only have two categories, one on how I manage my time and the other one on how I prospect. So first it asks you, okay, how good are you? How do you rate yourself? Well, I'm proficient and it's very important. And prospecting, I think I'm excellent and it's uh, extremely important. Now I go right into my real assessment. And this is where it's gonna ask me a couple questions. Um, basically, how do you go about you know, running your day? Um, and I'm just going to answer these. Uh, I usually I usually don't do well on my assessments, but that's good for demonstration purposes, of course. And then when I hit save here, a couple things to keep in mind. You saw I only asked two questions in two categories. You could have as many questions as you want in each category. You could have as many categories as you want. So if you want to do a soft skills assessment on day one, um, you have 10 soft skills that you want to assess, and you could have a pool of 100 questions. Um, for each one, and it only randomly pulls three each time it loads. So you can choose as many questions as you want, as many categories as you want, and the key here is that those categories are tied to specific learning paths inside of Rockstar Learning. So now you see I did really poorly. That might be my worst score uh, of all my demos. I got a zero on prospecting, 63% on managing my time. Green would be my capable skill sets, my capabilities. Um, you know, these are uh, you can these are um, customizable fields, so you could call them whatever you want. Some people call them strengths and weaknesses. I have a good friend in in human resources who said we call them capable skills and areas of opportunity. So we feel that's the uh, the better, more positive way to look at it. I set my passing score here at 100 because for the demonstration, I want to I don't want to pass these. Um, but you would set that at 75 or 80, whatever number you want. And again, it could be more than just those two questions. It could be more on uh, on yours. But this shows you that, you know, I came up with an average of 32%. And now I can drill into each one of them and say, okay, how did I do on managing my time? Well, these are the answers, the explanation of why I got it right or wrong. Um, and then the recommendation that it's going to make inside of the Rockstar Learning Platform for this individual, so it's a personalized learning path. So I see my recommended courses, I've got the sales system and our Rockstar Sales School. Obviously I need help in all of these areas. Um, we can jump right over to the to Rockstar Learning, which we'll do in a moment, but you can also download a PDF of that of all your results. So this is branded um, for you. Obviously mine comes in with the eLearning Brothers branding, but it showcases all of my analysis it would have a welcome message whatever you type in there um, but then it's also going to go and analyze um, show your course recommendations how you answered the questions um, you can print this download it we like it because some people still like to have that that printed physical copy of uh, of a skills assessment and so we've accommodated that but if i just click on sales skills here um, so this is going to take me into the rockstar sales school and now you see this blended approach um, to learning. So one of the things we also like to talk about with Rockstar Learning is that we want to blend it. We want content from all different providers, different styles. Um, we've got interactive content that might be SCORM or XAPI. We've got videos. We've got live events. Um, another scenario, VR experience. So the idea is to keep this 
very engaging and interesting for an end learner. And you do that by mixing the media, showing lots of, of different content. Uh, we, we've done a ton with video over the years, but as everybody on, on this session knows, eLearning Brothers is probably the best um, in the industry at creating truly immersive, interactive content. Also, Trivantis has built some of the best tools on the market for creating interactive content. So we want you to easily be able to create content, whether it's uploading videos um, that you could capture with your iPhone or professionally produce, um, content that you're creating, leveraging the asset library from eLearning Brothers and building beautiful sessions in both uh, Scenario VR and Lectora, or even using that contributor feature where the content here could be contributed from subject matter experts just rapidly building content right inside of the platform. Um, so we wanna make it easy. We know that everybody's different. Some people have huge budgets for content production. Some people don't. Inside of Rockstar Learning, it doesn't matter. You can create great content regardless of the budget that you have really. So one of the things I wanna show here is, um, obviously we've talked about these live events and how they can come within the, um, the context of a larger learning curriculum. But then one of these other things that we've really made a focus of ours is to um, leverage some of this new media and some of our premium partners. Now, of course, um, we do we love to do things with Scenario VR. We showed you the uh, the office tour. We also do a virtual expo center um, where you can go and tour around and feel like you're inside of an expo center, um, meeting people and learning more about it. So that's super cool. Just another way um, that you can use the combination of all the tools we provide to create that more immersive experience for your end users. Um, then when I come back here, um, as I think I'll probably a lot of people know, um, we've been very good partners with the game agency for a long time. They have one of the coolest things out there in the training arcade. Um, it allows you to create for really leveraging templates, create games that are gonna engage your user, mix it up a little bit. Um, this is Jeopardy. They have the, uh, the exclusive rights in the learning space to Jeopardy and a number of other brands. Uh, I'm just going to start this one because uh, everybody uh, will, will feel a little nostalgic for Jeopardy. So this allows you to create a content offering that's a game piece, build it right into your curriculum, and now I can have a little fun with it. You receive an email with a time-sensitive request for payment. What should you not do? Uh, contact your supervisor. I think probably request AP. All right. So I usually I usually get everything wrong in these demos. Today I'm 50-50 um, so far. Um, so anyway, this is just a really cool, fun way. Um, the Training Arcade is, is an authoring tool with all these templates built into it. So you don't need to create the, all of this that you see on screen. You don't need to spend a huge budget to create something that looks really, truly high end. You just need to create your categories and create your questions, use the authoring tool. So we, we resell that uh, the training arcade package to allow you to do this. When you talk to your Rockstar Learning um, LMS consultant, they can work with you. And if you wanna take a look at some of these other, the other ones that are available, um, create more like this. It's just really, it, it's fun, engaging. It keeps the learners looking at, at more uh, content. So I'm just gonna try. All right, so I didn't get that one right. Um, so now I'm gonna come back here to the main screen. Um, so just to, to overview, we talked about all of this stuff here. Um, I'm gonna come back to one, uh, one more premium offering that we're debuting for the first time today. Um, so that's something that I, I'm gonna finish with in a moment, but uh, I'm about to make an introduction to one of our best partners um, that we are just created a new relationship with, fully integrated into the Rockstar Learning Platform. Uh, a lot of you might have already heard in the industry about rehearsal. It's the leading video practice and coaching tool out there. Um, one of the most innovative tools that I've seen, it's got an AI feature in, in it that just takes this um, coaching and mentoring to a whole nother level. Um, I, I was going to talk about it, but we have the the Chief Revenue Officer, Jeff Curlis, from Rehearsal with us today because we're so excited about this partnership and for the first time having truly interactive video coaching and collaboration um, built right into Rockstar Learning. So I'm gonna pass this over to Jeff or I'll pass, Andrew will pass it over to Jeff. Um, stay tuned because what he's gonna show you, uh, if you haven't seen Rehearsal before, um, make sure you're sitting down because it's super cool. 
uh, and then I'll be back in a moment. Great. John, thanks so much. It's been a great experience so far to sit back and learn all that we can about Rux the Rockstar Learning Platform and appreciate you taking time to walk us through that just want to say hello to everybody again my name is Jeff Curlis and I'm here with rehearsal we're extremely excited about the partnership that we forged with uh, e-learning brothers and uh, becoming a part of the rockstar learning platform what I'm here to do today is really to introduce you to rehearsal many of you may know rehearsal or know about video based practice and coaching and what it brings to the table but uh, for you all today I'm gonna spend some time walking through the basics uh, and again what rehearsal brings to the Rockstar learning platform are a few things first and foremost it's gonna bring video based practice and there's a lot to say about video based practice but I think what serves us best especially in this type of environment is for you all to see what is video based practice and I can spend some time talking about that and then we can talk about leveraging video-based coaching practicing coaching together really hot topics especially with all that we're dealing with and all of the virtual uh, work that's going on right now we need to a keep sharpening our skills and B we need to keep an open environment where we're learning and being coached and being open uh, open for mentorship and rehearsal brings that in a digital and virtual way so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and come off of video because I'm gonna share with you all that we have to offer with rehearsal. So um, hopefully at this point in time, you all are seeing my screen and there'll be an Acme Incorporated logo up here in the top left-hand corner. Uh, Andrew, if you don't see that, please let me know, but I'm gonna move forward as if uh, you all are seeing that. So today I'm gonna to walk you through a couple of different scenario examples of what rehearsal brings to the table and how it works. How we're going to end this is I'm going to throw this back to John and the power of all of this is going to come to, to the forefront as he walks through how easy it is to embed this type of activity into the Rockstar Learning Platform. It's one thing to offer video-based practice. It's another thing to, ask, uh, to offer video-based practice and coaching, and it's quite another yet to make it super easy for you to have it as a part of your learning journey within the Rockstar Learning Platform, and John will spend some time talking about that. But let's first go into a scenario in rehearsal now a scenario in rehearsal is really an activity where an individual will, will go through an experience of working on a communication skill working on a soft skill and you name it it's basically allowing them to utilize modern technology a connected web camera so that they can practice and work through key talking points that are important to their role I've been in the e-learning space for a long time. It's interesting to be a part of this today as my initial start in this space was with Trivantis many years ago. Uh, when I saw the rehearsal technology, it really opened my eyes to some of the experiential activities that could be a part of the learning environment. So I'm happy to share that with you today. The scenario itself in rehearsal is built across four key areas. The first one is going to be a prompt video or an ask video. What is the individual going to work on today? And I'm going to go ahead and hit play and let us listen to this particular example. Wow, sounds like you guys have some pretty cool stuff going on. But I always like to do my due diligence. So can you tell me about some success stories that some of your clients have had? So in this particular scenario, we're going to talk about a success story, something that, at least in the sales world, it's a really important topic for somebody to get a chance to work on and practice. But this could be a leadership skill. It could be a product information skill. It could be just a communication or a soft skill that we want somebody to work on. In addition to that video, there's going to be the opportunity to add some instructions or backstory via text that shows up right here that gives the individual a little bit more direction in terms of what they need to do. Rehearsal fully supports the idea of a grading rubric, so you can add in grading criteria that are as simple as pass, fail, or complete, incomplete, all the way to a completely configurable and customizable grading rubric that allows you to really put some, some emphasis behind the individual uh, uh, completing and getting right their response. You can even go so far as to show those grading criteria points to the individual so they have a chance to look at it, understand it, and know what they're being graded against before they get started. And the last piece of rehearsal is including some attachments. Those attachments might be a PDF document, a Word document, maybe a video file of what should good look like, for example. Well, Karen, I can appreciate that you... Then I can play that and I can learn how I should handle telling a success story before I get started. But let's take a look now at putting that into action. 
I grab whatever device I'm comfortable in using. So rehearsal is device neutral. And so regardless of if I'm on my PC or my Mac or my mobile device, um, I have the access to the platform. And all I have to do is click the record button. When I do that, it's going to activate my camera and my microphone. You'll see me here and in person. I'm in the comfort of my own office. I've just learned about telling a success story and how to do it successfully. But guess what? Typically, the next time I'll ever do that is in front of a customer or in front of uh, an employee, for example. What if I could get a chance to work on that skill? And we're using modern technology through rehearsal to do that. From a simplicity perspective, it doesn't get any easier. There's one button in front of me. I click start recording and I get a three, two, one countdown. And then I begin to tell my success story and I'll work through the skills that I just learned through the e-learning brothers environment, through, you know, the rockstar learning platform, through an e-learning course, through whatever it might be. I'm now able to actually practice that. I'm able to put it into motion and see how I handle this. Traditionally, maybe I sat in front of a mirror and tried to work on telling a success story, but it gave me very little opportunity to review and assess. But notice, when I'm done talking and recording right now, I'll click the stop recording button. And what you'll notice is my video will instantly start to play back for me so I can begin to self-reflect. How did I handle this particular talking point? I'll go ahead and stop the recording, watch it play back. And then I begin to tell my success story. And I'll work through the skills that I just learned. Through so I'll pause that because you get the idea. It plays back and I start to assess. Did I handle that the right way? Did I say the right thing? Did I... Did I do it in the right manner? And if so, I can submit this recording and that submission can go off to a mentor, an instructor for review and coaching and feedback. Or, and for probably the benefit of everybody on this call, if we're in the LND space, the one thing that we love about this idea is that individuals don't click the submit recording after the first recording. They actually, on average, click the discard recording button 5.6 times before they hit submit recording. Rehearsal is built on the behavioral science idea that an individual wants to do it right before they ask anybody else to see it. And so what typically happens is an individual dials into something they didn't do right, something they're not fully sold on, and they want to do it again. They'll oftentimes click the discard recording button. That takes that recording, it throws it into the trash can, never to be seen again, and they're back in front of a camera for a second attempt. And again, they'll do this as many times as it takes for them to feel comfortable and confident with what they're talking about. So to begin again, I'll click start recording, same three, two, one countdown happens. And now I'll work to improve that skill. I'll try to do it better this time. I'll say um less. I'll you know, cover the detail I might've missed. Whatever it is, I'm gonna improve that skill the second time. And again, I'll talk as long as I need to. It'll play back when I start the, stop the recording and then I'll make another decision. Is this what I want to submit or do I want to keep practicing? And now I'll work to improve that skill. I'll try Let's say this time I'm happy. For demonstration purposes, this is the one I want to submit out for review. All I have to do is click the submit recording button. It says, are you sure you want to submit this for review? The moment that I click OK, an email notification goes back to my instructor uh, of that particular course, maybe a manager or a mentor, and they get a notification saying that I've just submitted a response to this success story scenario. And when they have time, they can come in and review that particular submission and provide me with some coaching and feedback. So video-based practice played out right in front of you, utilizing modern technology. Let's move on to video-based coaching. When that mentoring process kicks in, that individual manager or instructor is going to come into the platform very quickly, and they're going to be able to review not only the initial activity or scenario, but they'll also be able to review the submission that we just went through, and they can hit play. And now I'll work to improve that skill. I'll try to do it better. This and they can listen to how that individual handled that particular talking point. And then they can make a number of decisions. They can leave a comment for the individual. If they just want to leave comments at a timestamp, for example, they can do that. If they don't like fully the response that they received, they could prompt the individual to do it again. They can go back and say, hey, Jeff, you did a good job with this, but you didn't do that so well. Can you try it again? And they can provide virtual coaching and feedback back to that individual if they want to do that. Or they can review this submission, think it's a great response, move into submitting for final review, and they can actually close the loop with the individual by closing out this activity. They can add some text-based notes so they can type in anything here to be able to provide text-based feedback. They can go through the grading rubric that, again, is configured and customized to that particular activity, and they can score this based on how the individual handled it. 
So for example, let's give the individual an 85%. Jeff did a good job, but he missed a couple of points in the response. And lastly, if I want to take it a step further, I can even, as an instructor of this course remotely, provide some feedback to the individual utilizing the same recording process that you saw the learner go through. So now I've got my instructor or my manager's hat on now, and I want to provide some coaching and feedback. I'll click start recording and get the countdown. And I'll say, Jeff, that was a great attempt at telling a success story. There's a couple little things. You missed talking about the ROI and the financial benefit, but that's just something slight that you could work on. Reality is this was fantastic, and I want to share this with the rest of the team. So really great job, and I'm going to move this into the leaderboard. I wanted to give you a heads up on that and let you know and say thanks for taking the time to do this, and you did a great job. And I'll say, Jeff, that was a great So as a manager instructor, I can submit that recording. It's ready to go. The moment that I click publish, this activity is considered completed. The scoring can pass um, over and show the score. The individual learner gets an email notification from the system saying they've got coaching and feedback. So all of this process is back and forth can go on as long as necessary to make sure that that individual dials into that particular talking point. But this response was a great response and part of the value of rehearsal is getting user-generated content that can be reused or can be used to educate others. So as an instructor, I love this response. I go in to add this to the leaderboard and I type in a note like this is great, for example, and I send that to the leaderboard. And once I do that, anytime in the future, when a learner comes into that particular activity in the, in the you know, Rockstar Learning Platform, they can click on this little icon up here that says View Peer Responses, and they can start to see all the best responses related to telling a success story. And they can listen to them. They can hit play and listen to the one we just did that skill. I'll try to do it better. And they can take notes on how that individual might handle telling a success story. The leaderboard becomes searchable, sortable. You can filter it and individuals can begin to learn from each other based on that performance. So video-based practice and coaching is one really big piece of the platform. The other very big piece of the platform is utilizing text analysis and utilizing adaptive learning structures to scale these particular activities. As you could see through the last exercise that we just went through, there was a heavy lean on the mentor or instructor getting involved with the coaching and feedback angle. But sometimes an organization needs to scale and not limit that to a mentored approach. In this case, I'm going to show you some of the latest functionality from the rehearsal platform that opens up text analysis opens up the ability for AI to get involved, for self-grade and self-assessment, and for adaptive learning, all captured in this one scenario and exercise. In a sense, I've got to talk about the elevator pitch. Everybody within the company should probably learn how to tell the elevator pitch. So this scenario basically says, hey, in less than 60 seconds, tell us your elevator pitch. It gives you the response grading criteria that we want you to make sure that you cover, for example. So all of this is positioned the same way. I hit play and I listen to the ask video, the video that's telling me I need to tell that particular elevator pitch. So now when I'm ready, I begin by going through the same process. I click the record button. And now I'm going to give me or give my pitch on rehearsal, for example. I start the recording, same countdown happens. And I'll say, rehearsal is a video based practice and coaching platform that allows individuals to practice their skills in a scalable fashion. I'll stop the recording. And I'll say, rehearsal is a video based practice. Let's say I submit that recording, I say, okay. Now, in this particular case, we're moving away from a person or manual mentor involvement and we're utilizing technology to help us at this point in time. So my video uploads into the system. As it's uploading, we're running an analysis against that response and we're looking for keywords. In this particular response, there are five keywords I needed to mention to truly show that I knew what I was talking about. And I purposefully only mentioned four of those. I mentioned practice, skill, coaching, and rehearsal. I missed one. So it's basically saying I didn't mention the minimum number to move forward in the process. So I need to go to a learning module, an adaptive learning structure that gives me some remedial content that helps me better understand the talking points that I need to cover here. I can view my transcript to see exactly what I said and how I said it. But then I can also move to that content by clicking view learning module. Now, if I were to have gotten all five of those keywords on my initial response, I wouldn't need to go to the learning module. This is simply a remedial module for me to go to if I need to learn more about this topic. So when I click view the learning module, I can jump to the learning module. This might be a video file. It might be just content and text or attachment-based uh, 
process. It could link out to um, e-learning course in the Rockstar Learning Platform, for example. This allows us to take the individual to the place that we need them to go to better understand this particular topic. So not a mentor getting involved with a manual process, but at scale, we can personalize and adapt the learning for those people that need additional remedial content. Once they review that content, they can click return to the scenario and try again. When they do that, they have a new chance to click the record button and try this all over again. So think about that. I've practiced my messaging. I've got an AI and text transcription back saying I didn't do it so great. I got some remedial content, all automated, and now I try this again. And now based on that additional review, I have a better idea of what I want to say here. I'll go through the process again. Rehearsal is a video-based practice and coaching platform that allows individuals to improve their skills uh, at a scalable level utilizing modern technology. Stop the recording, submit the recording, click OK. Again, we run the audit on that uh, transcription. I believe I said all five words the right way. Um, I've done this a number of times. I think I caught them, but maybe I missed one, but I think I got all five out of five. So when I do that, you'll see that it'll allow me at that point in time to move forward in the learning journey. So I did, I mentioned all five keywords. I can view my transcript if I want. I captured, thankfully, that word technology on the last word that I said, and now I can move forward. Not into a manual mentor involvement, but into a self-grade. I can grade my own response. So in this case, I'm gonna reflect. Did I feel comfortable? I did, a nine out of 10. Did I keep it under 60 seconds? I sure did. I use the word technology, but I was not very confident. I can uncheck that. And then I can submit this. And when I submit this, now I've considered myself completed with this particular activity. No mentor had to get involved in this complete journey. And now this is considered completed with an 84% grade based on my self grade. Now, one key feature here is this doesn't lock out the mentors or instructors from seeing what happened. As an instructor or as a mentor, I can always go back into that submission that just happened and I can review the entire workflow. I can see not only the initial scenario, but I can scroll down, see the first attempt. I can review the keywords that were, that were captured and not. I can view that transcript if I want to. I can see that second attempt. I can see the next assessment of keywords and see that those were all hit. And I can see that individual's grade or self-grade. And lastly, at any time, I can go back and leave a comment for that individual. So while I'm not required to be involved in the mentoring process for that individual to move through the learning journey, I can always go back and provide my own commenting and my own direction to that individual so that we always have the opportunity to provide video-based feedback to that individual learner. It's a powerful tool and it's even more powerful when it's very simple to add within a learning journey. And with that said, uh, I'm gonna hand it back to John and let John take it from here to show you how you would add one of these scenarios quickly into a learning journey in the Rockstar Learning Platform and how you take it from now just being um, an LMS or an LXP into being a fully experiential learning environment with video-based practice and coaching. John? All right. Well, thank you, Jeff. That was awesome. I, every time I hear Jeff do that presentation, I, I learn something new about rehearsal and it's super cool. It's the, what they're doing with adaptive learning is amazing. And as Jeff said, it's even more powerful when you pair it with Rockstar Learning. And so what I'm showing you here on our screen right now is the admin view. I just want to show you very quickly how easy it is to add a rehearsal activity right to any curriculum that you have in Rockstar Learning. Uh, again, I'm not going to dive too deep into admin. Um, there's lots to talk about here, but this is probably a discussion for another time. But just quickly, once you add the rehearsal integration, you activate rehearsal by adding an integration key in your settings. I can then add a rehearsal activity just by clicking here um, and I enter the attributes for it. Um, basically, I'll show you the one I have in here and then we'll go take a quick look at it. Um, but essentially, all it is is adding this one URL from the, from the rehearsal application for the assignment that you create. You drop it in here. And then now this is a regular module that I can drag and drop into any course inside of my uh, Rockstar Learning site. So in this case, I've put it inside of my sales school. Uh, as you saw earlier, uh, I've dragged and dropped it right here, practice with rehearsal. So just like that, you just simply click to add 
a new activity, just like you do an event or uh, a, a piece of media or a link, you add a rehearsal activity right here and you're ready to integrate that into your learning experience. So I'm just gonna quickly jump over here to our user page, um, jump into sales. And just to show you how that works, I've got practice with rehearsal right here. When I click that, it logs me in and puts me right into my assignment. I'm logged in as, as me. I've got my assignments and access to everything, um, and I can start going through and doing everything that Jeff just showed us. So our goal here has been to really seamlessly integrate rehearsal for video practice and coaching, a tool that we're just really, really amazed by every time we see it. Um, and now I've got it integrated right into my learning path there, um, just like that. So uh, something we're really excited about, uh, thank you to Jeff for being here. Um, our team can speak with you, customer success, has worked very closely with rehearsal. So if you wanna learn how to build out those adaptive learning journeys, the video practice and coaching right into a learning path, talk to us, we're, we're here to help you with it. Um, we're just really excited about the, the opportunities that this opens up for all our learners. So the last thing I'm gonna end with, because we all love infomercials and you always have to have more for your audience and for everyone who stayed here with us, um, this is, uh, yet another premium partner announcement that we're making today as part of our Rockstar Learning launch. Um, of course, uh, rehearsal is something that we're hugely excited and Jeff was here with us today, uh, but we've also got um, for the first time a premium content provider uh, integrated into Rockstar Learning um, just to make it that much easier to add more content to your library. So I'm gonna just jump over here again to admin. Um, same place where I was adding my uh, my rehearsal activity over here in content. I could see everything that's in my library on the right, all my courses, the channels, as you saw before, courses that I've got over here, but this is a brand new feature that we just rolled out last week called Subscriptions. And Biz Library, one of the largest libraries of uh, general training content on the market right now. I think this is something around 2,500 titles included in here, We've worked really closely with them. We now can resell that Biz Library full access license as part of your Rockstar Learning subscription. So you just talk to your uh, LMS sales consultant about that, but all you need to do is simply click here, drill into um, the different categories of content, and you'll see the amount of content that's available here. Um, I can go into personal finance, um, I've got all types of, of content available. One of the things that we're really excited about is that when you start building these assessments and learning paths and adaptive learning, what that requires is you've got to have access to a lot of content and, the, and a lot of people just don't have enough of it. So we partnered with Biz Library. Uh, you are really hearing the, the first ones to hear about this. We just launched this uh, premium content subscriptions. I will tell you, Biz Library is the first. It will not be the last. Um, we're pumped about this. We're gonna be adding more and more content here and this is uh, where it separates itself. A lot of uh, other platforms may have uh, a marketplace. This goes one step further. So if I say that over here I have my um, Rockstar Sales School and I need to fill some gaps in there, I need some more content and I know that my Biz Library subscription has it, well, it's not just a, a third party marketplace. I can go in here, click into Business School Skills, click on presentation skills and say, yeah, online demos, I definitely wanna add that. All I need to do is drag and drop that. Online demos made easy. I can drag and drop it right from the, the full library of Biz Library content, publish that. And when that publishes now, I've now integrated third-party content so seamlessly that it looks like it, it is part of your curriculum. You can plug it in and around all of your other content. So when we talk about that, blended learning curriculum. Uh, when I jump over here to the user screen, you'll see I'm gonna go back into the sales skills here. And one of the things is, you know, these blended learning paths are great. There's a lot of content that I have, but there's some content that I don't have. And now you can pair a Biz Library premium content subscription uh, and then plug in something like this, online demos made easy. I just published it, made it available, click and launch it. And now I've got Biz Library content right inside of my platform. Click play and it starts playing. Got full media controls. 
I can even click here, launch the transcript, download that right there, handouts. So the whole idea behind this was to make it really seamless, really easy to add more content to your library, to make it a more engaging experience without creating more work for, for you and all of, our, all of our users. So when I click out of that, I'm back here in sales skills, close that. So I'm gonna come back over on the, the back here uh, just to close out because we've got a, a, just a couple minutes here. I wanna thank everyone for staying with us. A couple of the premium partners that we just closed on there, um, certainly rehearsal, talk to us about that. We're very excited about it. It's going to add so much. And then um, adding these uh, virtual learning capabilities, um, all the different things that we're talking about, leveraging premium libraries like Biz Library, taking advantage of channel channels, uh, virtual event management, uh, learner activities, boards. We've just got so much cool stuff. And we are really happy just to talk to you about it, figure out the solution. Um, we're very committed to proof of concept selling and really working with any prospect or customer out there to figure out the right model for you and how do you pull all these pieces together. We've literally got everything across the board to build the next generation e-learning solution for you. So thank you for looking at Rockstar Learning. Uh, we're excited about the launch today and thank you for being here with us at eLearning Brothers. I'll hand it back to you, Andrew. Thank you, John. Uh, thanks for showing us the new Rockstar Learning platform. There are so many exciting things happening here at eLearning Brothers. The future is bright, bright orange. So thanks to um, all of our partners. Thank you to Jeff over Rehearsal and the Game Agency and Biz Library. We're doing amazing things with those guys. And uh, most importantly, thank you for all of you, or thanks to all of you for attending the Big Launch event. Um, remember, our goal is to work together and to help you be e-learning rock stars. Now, if you'd like to schedule a personal demo and learn more, please go to elearningbrothers.com. Thanks again. Rock on.